All right, here we are working on the fridge. First thing I do is always unplug the refrigerator prior to doing any kind of work. So here we go. All right, I'm here with a this type of fridge here. We had a massive water leak from the back, as you can see from that right there. But found out that the problem was the inlet water valve right here. Um, it had cracked on the bottom, I don't know how, but we bought this off of Craigslist and they didn't tell us it. But this is what the water valve looked like. I don't know if you can see it here. So that goes right here. And it was just letting water come out. And as you can see right there, you can see it's cracked all over. I don't know how that happened, but anytime you tried to hook the water up, water would just pour everywhere. So, I found a replacement on Amazon, a direct replacement as you can see here. Exact replacement, no cracks. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in since we know what the problem was, and I'll show you all what I did. Alright, I'm going to make this short and sweet. So when you take your old one out, when you open up this back piece, you'll see this sitting here, in the corner held in by those two screws. And so certain electrical connectors connect to the top valves here to actuate the solenoids. And so what I did when I took mine out was I left it here. I took pictures so I know which tubes go where and which connectors go where. So I'm gonna use that when I go to put this back together. So I will put it back together and get back with you. All right, here I am back at it. So this one with the elbow goes to the white one. This green one comes from over here. And then this is the white one that comes down. And then there's the, in, the outlet right here in the front. You can barely see it right there. So when you hook these up, you just shove them in when they're this way. You'll feel it go all the way. Like this one had a little mark on it to where it was in before. But you depress this top piece to pull out the tube. So when you reinsert it, you just push it all the way in. You don't have to do anything. So now that all the tubes are connected, we'll go ahead and take our two electrical connections, which are here. This one gray one and white one and the gray one goes on the green one and the white one goes on the brown one from my photos and then we'll hook it all back up and just screw it down all right be right, all right back. so everything's plugged back in electrical connectors are on top as you can see plugged in have this connected i'm gonna leave the back off right now until we check it to make sure there aren't any leaks so go ahead and plug her in We're gonna cut back on the water. Go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do this. All right. All right, she's plugged in. Water's on. And look at that. No water spewing everywhere. So. Let's see it. Let's see if the water works through the fridge. All right, here we are. Moment of the truth. Oh yeah. I assume that's air in the lines making that noise, but before we didn't have any, any water coming out, so I'm happy with it. Voila, just if you have water pouring out on the floor, just replace your water inlet valve. All right, the back's back on it. Thing screwed in right. Water is filling. There's not a huge water leak everywhere. And just to go over, this is the water inlet valve that I replaced. As you can see, there's cracks all over. I don't know how that happened. We bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, but these, these ends on here where the tubes go in, you have to depress them 
push them in and that's how the the tube comes out so it's just this little piece here that you have to push down to push out the the tubes you'll see see them all on each end but pretty easy to remove pretty intuitive um, hopefully this helps somebody else out if you have a, a floor full of water all right